so me and my brothers always make games when I visit our parents' house, so we decided, hey, why not try to make a game but every 30 minutes we will switch. What would that game even look like? So the roles are as follows. You cannot watch what the other person is doing, you cannot explain to the other person your ideas or what you wanted to do, and it doesn't matter if you're in the middle of writing code or maybe testing, after it hits the 30 minute mark on the timer you have to let go of your keyboard and when the timer runs out you will hear this sound. Are you ready? Let's get this going. So I had my opportunity first, so I started the timer and I started the project. Honestly, I didn't give it enough thought on what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted something creative, unique and cool. I just created a cube and said, shit, what do I even do? I added a plane as well and added some materials to it. In my head, I was going for some kind of a puzzle game where you can move block by block. And as you can see, with 14 minutes left, I had this movement where it should be resembling a grid movement. Then. I I added some physics to my guy and the idea was I want to push this other cube I made and we will call him blue. Get the hell off this platform you Minecraft head looking ass. There were some bugs with the collision detection but somehow I fixed it. Hopefully. Now you can push the cube and then I thought let the game idea be push the cube to the finish line which will be this white game object. With two minutes left I decided to end my time because I realized I need to think harder on what I'm gonna do with this time. It was my brother's turn and as you can see he launched the game and got introduced with the movement I made. Also he discovered that you can move the cube. He also quickly figured out that the white thing called finish should be finishing the level. Big brain play. So surprisingly he went right on to continuing what I was doing. This is surprisingly the only time this is gonna happen. He quickly started doing the finishing part of the game. He added some questionable name tags like movable Bruh. for the player and item for blue. But now it shows you that you're in the finish collider. Now he started doing his thing and something I didn't have in mind at all. He added an enemy turned the player to green and made the enemy red. He then wanted to do the nav mesh agent, which took a bunch of his time to do that, but eventually he did it. Sort of. It still needed some work, but then he had an idea to make the enemy follow the blue guy, gave the blue guy a health bar and then quickly scrambled to fix a lot of bugs he had, but the time had run out at that point so he wasn't able to finish it completely. When it was my turn I quickly realized that we should make the blue guy the center of the game. While we are trying to drag him to finish, the enemies are trying to kill him. That was the idea I was going with. But now the bugs started rolling in, so before I wanted to move on with my ideas I had to fix this so it's playable and we can keep going. Fixing code from somebody else is difficult, especially when it's named like this and especially when I don't know what was my brother's idea. I made it when the red cube hits the blue one, it will have some sort of a knockback effect so the enemies are not that OP. Now for the rest of the time I made some scripts. For example, a range script where in certain range you will be able to press space and there will be a rope in which you can drag blue. But my time was up so my brother had to finish it. Meaning it will probably look like shit. Kinda like him. Now the real tough stuff began. There were a lot of bugs happening, to a point where when we switch there will be like 15 minutes spent just trying to understand what I wanted to do and then realizing oh what the hell is this code then. 30 minutes is not a long time. You're in a panic mode and we try the hardest to make as much as possible to give the other person the idea of what we wanted to make. But even with the time spent on fixing bugs, we had a little bit of time to make some new changes. In here, things started to feel like we might have to stop. The bug count kept rising. We didn't know in which direction are we gonna build the game anymore. Out of our 30 minutes, we had to fix bugs for half of that before getting to doing something new. And because you only have half of the time to make something new, it creates a new cycle of bugs and bug fixing. But then I decided to make this work. I need to take as much time out of my 30 minutes to fix absolutely everything and make this playable and enjoyable. So I did. I spent my turn on fixing absolutely everything I can. And as you can see, now the red can damage blue and there is now a gizmo to tell you if the blue is in range. But the biggest issue was trying to make the knockback work. And oh, here we shit. go again. Here we we go had some again. big trouble with that. But then he added the line renderer and now we can drag our friend. 
while trying to avoid Red trying to kill him. And then I started to make the levels. I wanted to have a few levels just so that we can test everything out properly. I added level restart, made a finish line and made the nav mesh agent on some levels and little things like that. For the penultimate 30 minutes, we tried to iron out as many bugs as possible, as well as making as many levels as possible. The thing that frustrated us the most was the knockback of the enemy when he hits blue. And as you can see, it's either too Bruh. much or too Bruh. little. So we had to find a way that it works every time and it's consistent. I also made a new text which now says how many cubes we collected, meaning Bruh. which are in the finish line. And we had to make it if the blue cube isn't finished, then enemies shouldn't go for it. And the very last 30 minutes I focused on adding maps again, also ironing out the bugs. I tried to get creative with the map building and hopefully I made him look okay. I fixed the canvas, baked the nav mesh and play tested the hell out of it. And here is the finished product. In total we switched 4 times and collectively we made this in 3 and a half hours. And it was difficult. The fact that we couldn't speak to each other made it a thousand times harder than it looks. Not getting feedback on what was meant is really confusing but I think in the end we made a really cool game where we made something quite unique and cool. If you want part 2 of this video where we try to design this game in 30 minutes as well as maybe uploading the game, make sure you leave a like and comment. Also subscribe, we are so close to reach that thousand subscribers and that would mean the absolute world to me. Okay and I'll see you in the next one.